Hello, my name is uh, Alicia Garcia Algado. Um, I presented with my partner uh, Juan Cruz Benito. First, uh, we talk, uh, our work talk about the knowledge society. The knowledge society uh, is now like a learning society where the learning is the key factor to, in order to uh, improve uh, the persons, the, the organizations, and anything in, in the society now. The knowledge management uh, emerged as a, a sustainable, sustainable competitive advantage in the knowledge society. And uh, this work uh, has uh, the goal to analyze about the uh, knowledge management in the Spanish public administration. Why? First, uh, about the knowledge. There are two types uh, of knowledge depending on, on their nature. First, the explicit knowledge uh, is a structured and storable uh, knowledge that can be uh, communicated between persons. And the tacit knowledge uh, that is a non-tangible non knowledge because depend of um, other uh, kind of factors like social factors and cultural factors. Uh, in the, any kind of organization or any kind of institution, the knowledge management processes uh, support the transfer between the tacit knowledge to explicit, uh, to explicit knowledge. And uh, Nonaka proposed a um, model cycle uh, that this uh, difference between four modes of knowledge creation internalization, socialization, externalization, and combination. In this context, uh, uh, the technological ecosystem are uh, technological tools that provide a high integration degree and a strong evolving component between different services and tools that are the uh, center of uh, the knowledge management inside any kind of organization. So the analysis of this uh, knowledge management system allows to detect different problems. Now uh, the work is center of um, public administration because the public administration provides a sustainable context to analyze the knowledge management. Because uh, the public administration is composed by different, uh, uh, by heterogeneous um, set of organs. So provide uh, an overview of how knowledge is created, transformed, distributed, and evolved in rich of heterogeneous public context. So we, we are selected two representative case studies First, the National Institute of Public Administration is an autonomous body within the national government in Spain. And uh, th this goal is, uh, these main tasks are training for public employees and improve their professional profiles, recruitment into the civil service, and promoted research and studies regarding government. So uh, this institute possess uh, a huge experience in knowledge management inside the public administration, inside the Spanish public administration. So the technological ecosystem to support the knowledge management inside the, the institute is uh, composed by three layers. First, uh, an infrastructure layer that uh, provides uh, a set of tools to support uh, the service provider and other layers. So there are a uh, user management system to provide uh, the, the user management inside other tools of the technological ecosystem or the mail service. The second layer, the static management layer, uh, uh, has to manage the, the knowledge, the documents, inside the technological ecosystem 
but uh, we say that it's uh, static data because uh, it's data that not change every time. It's not static, but not change every day. And finally, the service layer, the most important layer, because they provide the three main services inside the, the institute, is the service layer. This layer has three elements. Uh, first, the social network that provides a private space to public employees to uh, develop different uh, community communities of practice. The web portal that provides uh, public information about the institute. And the knowledge bound that is uh, like a um, public repository with information documents of the public administration. Hi all. Uh, the other case we analyzed is the observatory for university employment and employability at Spain. Uh, that is a technical unit that collects, produces, analyzes, and disseminates information about employability and the employment of university graduates in Spain. Um, at this moment, it handles data from 49 university and 134,000 students graduated in Spain in the course 29-2010. So, it, ha it have um, another ecosystem that is composed by several custom applications developed uh, ad hoc for this project, uh, which have um, the management and, uh, and the coordination by the technical unit and an expert council that provides a methodology for the analysis. Uh, it's composed by several layers, uh, one layer for presentation, another for services, another one for data persistence, and another in the down schema about super layer for processes and information flows. Um, it has several functionalities and, and subcomponents like the subsystem for collecting information from the universities and the subsystem for collecting information fr from graduates. Okay, so taking into account those two um, examples, we made uh, a comparison and analysis with uh, a well-known methodology that is Suricata model. Do you know what is a Suricata? Do you remember the Lion King and the, the thinner guy that sings with the, the fat guy? Yeah? Uh, the, the Suricata collaborate with other mates, with other Suricata, in order to achieve a, a common goal. So uh, this, this model talks about how, we, how can we um, uh, put in collaboration several components and layers in ecosystems and other big applications composed by several components uh, in order to achieve a general goal. So Suricata model, in a formal way, it's an architectural proposal based on five layers ranging from the technological infrastructure to the personalized portal for knowledge worker. So those suricatas work with each other in order to handle knowledge. Uh, this model allows to develop methods and tools to support individuals involved in the processes of knowledge management. Those two cases we presented before are in line with the knowledge management. And the analysis we, we, done, we did is based on this model. Okay, the first layer in the Suricata model is about the technological infrastructure, software applications, interoperability, and integration. So the in-app ecosystem. The in-app ecosystem provides the first layer with the infrastructure that provides a user center management tool. And the, the second case, the observatory ecosystem, accomplishes also this layer uh, through the support layer for processes and information flows, which enable the collaboration, Suricata's collaboration, uh, of the different components and application in order to compose the information system. The second layer, it's about the information architecture. So uh, the, uh, the two systems uh, fulfill this layer because the two systems have a data persistent layer. And the third layer of the Suricata model uh, 
say that there are a collabor collaborative environment for the ecosystem components and they know, uh, the Institute Technological Ecosystem uh, has a service center on this, of the communities of practice. And the other case? In the observatory case, this layer not correspond with only, only one layer, but with two layers that are the related to the collection analysis and reporting layers, uh, which can do the information of knowledge science exchange in several levels. For example, the users to ecosystem, ecosystem to users, ecosystem to ecosystem uh, regarding the components. Uh, about the four layer of the Suricate model, it's uh, related to the support for the creation of virtual communities. Both uh, ecosystem post the, the knowledge translation as their mantra, but each one deals I with it in, in a different way. So the same in the technological ecosystem of the Institute, there are uh, different communities inside the social network component. And the observatory, also in this case, uh, have an, a not clear uh, model for the community of practices, but it spread this community concept to all the ecosystem. Uh, each component, each user, each analyst, each uh, university that provides data to the ecosystem uh, is collaborating with the other part, the other suricatas within our model in order to achieve the, the knowledge management, the knowledge uh, exchange, and the knowledge uh, discovery, uh, collaborating to achieve the common goal, that is the analysis of employment and employability factor at the Spanish University. And last but not the least, uh, the five layer is about the user interface uh, that allows the access to all layers of the architecture. So both systems, both ecosystem, uh, provide a user interface to connect uh, the different service and to empower users to use and access to the different functionalities contained in the ecosystem. And uh, regarding this layers comparison uh, with the Suricata model, it's possible to say, to assert, that the knowledge management case analyzed, uh, despite the substantial differences between them, uh, have a common elements that are reflected when the comparison with the, the model. So could be considered success stories from the point of view of the utility and organization of knowledge in the public administration in Spain. So the conclusion are? So the conclusion are uh, that are the world presented uh, several key points that uh, put the reader in the context of the knowledge management. And the two cases uh, has common characteristics and common problems. So with the analysis provided by the Suricata architecture. Enabling the comparison of how this architecture organized knowledge management uh, processes and how they do in the case presented. Some reference, um, thank you.